Right, let's, let's get this thing working. Ah, turn the volume down on here. Two, one, two, two. Okay, let's see if this thing is. Oh, we're online. Fantastic. Okay, hi guys. Welcome to the show. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a live show today. Um, sorry, just give me one second. Bear with me. I hope everybody's well. Uh, let's see if I'm popping up in the... Um, hmm. For some reason, I'm not... Uh, let's see if... Why am I not popping up in this thing? Where's my channel? Here we go. Yay. Right, so I just got to get this thing running, and then I can um, then I can uh, have a look at the chat. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, so okay, hi guys. Sorry, I'll do I'll do the intro again. Hello, guys. Welcome to the show, uh, live show today because we have some breaking news. Um, a gentry favorite, the Saab. 033 and 035 which is the cream dial actually i've got the 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 black dial version here uh and the alpinist this 017 which i'm i'm happy i managed to remember the numbers um they've been discontinued so breaking news um so we'll discuss that also i think a subject i really want to chat um uh, Hand, well, not handle, that's the wrong word, um, address today is a, ki uh, a killer collection for $1,000 because this is an email I get asked constantly, so I want to uh, address that. I will give some shout-outs. Also, we'll do live q and um, I'm going to – I'm just looking at the clock. Forgive me. I, I was tried to start this half an hour earlier, but I had to install some plugins. Um, so finally we got there. Uh, so I'll do some live q and I'll do a couple of shout-outs. Um, and what else is on the agenda? I think that's it. I think, so, yeah. So um, we'll start with a couple of shout-outs. Uh, let's see who's in. Oh, wow, this is crazy. I, it always blows my mind how many um, um, someone is that. Is this thing on? Yes, it should be. It should be. Hello from Seattle. That's John. Hello, John. Fantastic. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Jimmy says, uh, TGV, how's it going? Very well, thank you. It's my favorite type of uh, weather, so I'm I'm happy, uh, which is miserable, gray, and rainy. So um, actually, I think it's like that in Seattle, apparently. So uh, Oliver says, hey, from Sweden. So hello, Sweden. Love Sweden. Uh, happy Friday, says Gino. Happy Friday to you, sir. Uh, hello from uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, that's Jason. Hello, Jason. Fantastic. Uh, Antonio in uh, Lisbon. Beautiful, beautiful city, Lisbon. Uh, and uh, Rui, I think, is it is that pronounced Rui from Portugal? Uh, James says, bring it. Yeah, let's have it. Um, Lucky Dog says, hi from France. Hello. Bonjour. Love France. Oh. Um, Leland says, what's up, TGV? What's up, sir? Uh, Rob says, hello, mate. Hello, sir. Uh, Mr. Hyde is in uh, from Australia. Stay dapper. Well, I'm very casual today, but it's it's still cashmere. It's still cashmere. So, you know, understated uh, luxury today. Um, Oliver says, how are you, sir? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? James in uh, Charlotte, NC. Love, love um, um, North Carolina. I have family there, actually, so uh, pretty cool. Um, Hi from Darlington. That's Gerald. Hello, sir. How are you, sir? Uh, Jimmy says, uh, 280 and climbing. We're, we're 600 viewers. Yeah, not nervous whatsoever. No, I am. I am. It's a bit nerve-wracking. Um, we've got John in, in uh, Bronxville, NY. Hello, sir. Not too far away. Um, Jimmy, 
says uh, 390 i don't know what uh, what does that mean um yeah the end of the seiko yeah it's it's well there's some good things and then there's some bad things we'll discuss in a little in a little while uh rocco says uh, hi from warsaw ah oh, fantastic very cool i'm dying to visit never been there um a big uh big uh it was a chopin it wasn't chopin from uh warsaw guys correct me if i'm wrong um fernando from spain hola fernando uh Bo bona bona from croatia wow fantastic um adi from israel Chaim, my friend there um dill first from tennessee andrew from london hello mate um fellow Londoner, um and, and liam as well from london a lot of people from portuguese oh wristwatch check sorry christy yeah the zin i got the zin the zinny zin zin <laughs> it's back so uh yeah uh, my good friend duncan shout out to duncan i doubt he's watching this but if you are duncan uh give us a give us a a shout out in the um the chat but yeah that's my wristwatch day rest in peace helmet zin passed away this week very very sad um so i'm wearing it in his honor when i posted it on uh, instagram everyone was like are you selling your zin and no i was i was rest in peace helmet zin i'm keeping my zin but uh, yeah it, it was a while away for a little while because um i lent it to duncan and if you saw the live show he he i think he borrowed it for about a month month and a half um so yeah there we go so it's back i'm happy it's back i i have missed it and oh by the way i've got it on a um that's a british racing green uh nato strap i can't remember where i bought it from but um yeah the the, the black it just goes with everything you know I, I i love this watch and you know actually it begs the question if we're going to discuss a killer collection for a thousand dollars today which is our subject do nominate your watches. The first question I guess we should ask ourselves is should you just buy one really, really, you know, tip top watch or should you get a few pieces and actually have a collection? And what constitutes a collection? Is it, is two watches a collection? Is three watches a collection? I mean, theoretically you could buy quite a lot of watches for a thousand dollars. So that, that's today's topic um so do oh my god the comments are going, i've got to catch up guys oh romania I, I'll, I'll try and speed this up romania hola from romania hello um deepak from italia buongiorno well uh, is it night oh it's uh buonasera i should say sorry uh guten abend from uh, germany moon um hello sir Poland, more people from Poland. Hello from Dubai. Fantastic. And that is um, Riz, Rizvi, Rizvi, Rizvi Holix. Sorry. Sorry, I apologize. Uh, Ivan from Serbia. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, we've got Cirrus in Kenya. Um, Arno from Belgium. Uh, Troy from Florida. I mean, this is crazy. Dennis, Dennis Van. I, I won't read surnames. Don't worry, guys. Uh, Dennis in Holland love love holland uh reed in virginia love virginia got many friends in virginia sorry let me get this cable out of the way um yeah oh uh tgvg <laughs> uh who's a who's a re regular commentator hello my my friend if guys if you're watching this in the future i know this sounds weird to say this but because this is live and i'm gonna try and do live shows every couple of weeks because i'm getting a lot of emails asking questions and i think it's just i think it's the best way to do it you know if you know guys that i'm going to do it every fortnight then just tune in and if you're watching this in the future just add a question in the comments to this video and i will address them at the start of the next video if that makes sense uh renee from el salvador wow very cool uh thomas in long island yeah my a neighbor um javier in brazil oh that's very cool sorry i should hold this up i'm looking at my my lap i should get like a stand really so i can um excuse me 
uh we got uh jaw in amsterdam young young i presume or young in uh mexico uh find find the find the error in berlin sorry <laughs> um watch gang yay it's um my good friend john shout out to you sir how are you sir really great seeing you the other day um we've got to do more videos together john is a true true gentleman um and he uh, yeah his, his his enthusiasm is very for watches is very um inspirational so shout out to you sir um wow i'm i'm just i'm just scrolling i'm just scrolling okay let let's let's get to um Oh, Hillis in, in Athens, love Athens, amazing city. Um, yeah, Luigi, bella teach <laughs> Luigi, I take it you're in Italy. Um, Knight from Milan, yay. Who was that? Uh, Augusto, Augusto, Ugo, Uga, Augusto, Augusto, sorry. Um, like the emperor, Augustus, uh, Augusto, uh, Raphael. Costa Rica, I love Costa Rica. I went, I, I took a train through the rainforest once to visit a coffee plantation, and it was, I, yeah, I'll never forget. It was this old rickety wooden train, and it was, I thought it was going to crash into the, <laughs> to the rainforest, but yeah, that was an adventure and a half, I can tell you. Um, hello from Essex, yay, my neck of the woods. That's dodgy, that's dodgy there in Essex um who else we got who else kevin hong kong oh i'm dying to go to hong kong i haven't been to hong kong i will go there's a massive watch market very healthy uh watch market there um uh, damien says respect boss thank you sir respect to you sir um richard in canada i could just do this all day <laughs> uh but we're not really tackling the subject uh yeah okay so let's discuss let's discuss uh sorry i've got text messages coming in as well it's it's all it's all happening so let's discuss the uh the end uh the, the discontinuation of where is it where is it here we go the saab 033 it's it's an end of an era mm. it's very sad very sad so i found out this morning i got a text from mark at long island watches shout out to you and um so it's official apparently it's been confirmed and to be honest I, I i was disappointed at first i you know of course i'm disappointed because uh, you know i know a lot of you are still saving up um, but i wasn't surprised I, I i knew the alpinist would would come to an end the the 017 that's the green if you're not familiar with that watch so that stunning radiant it's like a, the japanese version of the explorer beautiful you know jdm um beautiful watch with the inner rotating bezel the uh the compass the, the compass there um i wasn't surprised because if you look back at my videos and there's a great article in the springbar.com shout out to the springbar.com uh, with the history it's it's the second eldest um, eldest? No, I'm, that's like a person. Oldest, sorry. Uh, oldest line of watches from Seiko. Um, and if you look back at the history, every you know they have a good run and then they are discontinued. And the older Alpinists are very much desired. The, the prices, you know, the Black Dial version. You're gonna, God knows how much they are on eBay now, but. Yeah, they're very they they they're hard to come by, and they're very much desired by collectors. And I knew I knew the Alpinist with, with the you know the current green one would go the same way. Um, so when was it released? It was released two thousand seven. So it's well, just a little a smidgen over ten years. Um, so I'm not really surprised. Uh, the zero three three came out in two thousand eight. So again, ten years. Well, exactly 10 years. And same with the 035, which is the cream dial version of where is it? This one. There we go. So it's it's 10 years. Yeah, I'm I'm not surprised. I'm just disappointed because I know, you know, a lot of you still hankering after that watch. So what's the good news? Well, 
the good news is that um it's gonna make the watch more desirable well is that good news i don't know well it will push up the price that's bad news uh the good news is i think it will this is a better way of putting it it will it will help maintain its value and when something when there's a limited amount of something and i know this watch was made in you know huge amounts compared to a real limited edition like like you know rare speedmasters or whatever right so it's still a large amount. There's still going to be a lot out there, and I, d I doubt they'll sell out fast. There's going to be an immediate rush. I think that's my prediction. Because, uh, guys, if you if you've been on the fence, buy one now. To, you know, after you've watched this, preferably go and go and buy one. Oh my God, eight hundred fifty viewers! Wow, that's impressive. Cool. Um, Wow, yeah, the comments are the comments are still going. I'll I'll get back to you. <laughs> Thanks for the kind words. That, pleasure, John. Anyway, I'm gonna lose my train of thought. Okay, so so it's it's getting it's going to um safeguard its value. It's gonna make it it's gonna make it more of a secure investment, certainly, which is I know a lot of people scoff at what you know mid-range Seikos as an investment. I don't care about investment, you know, that's me. You guys know me. I buy watches for enjoyment, you know, and that's what I urge you to do. But it, it, let's not deny it's going to definitely increase its value. But, um, so the good news is I think, you know, these, these are good things. Um, and if you have one, well, you're very lucky. Um, so hang on to it. The bad news, well, obviously the price is going to go up. It's going to be un unavailable. But however, if we look at history, it's inevitable there's something new on the horizon. And I'm really excited about that because, you know, I'm praying for a blue dial alpinist. If there's a blue dial alpinist, oh, my God, I'm, I'm buying it. That's, you know, mark my words, uh, it is, what time is it, uh, 4.25. 15 seconds now mark my words if there's a blue dial alpinist because it, the next version it's inevitable they, they have to come out with a new one right um so let's see what what people are saying uh uh anyone anyone addressing the sake let's see if anybody's actually talking about the um good evening from copenhagen uh who is that uh, the stig hello sir I'm dying to visit your your city. Uh, I I recently watched who was it? I think uh, Richard Dayawadi, the um, comedian, British comedian filmmaker. He went there uh, recently. Um, okay, okay, yeah. Just saw White Dial Saab Alpinist. Interesting. Yeah, that must that's an earlier version. I forget the reference. They are worth an absolute well, not an absolute fortune, but you know, um, comparatively speaking. They, they are. Do I like Casio? Of course I like Casio. I've got a Casio right here. <laughs> of course I like Casio. David, David, you must be new. You must be new. I love Casio. Michael, my good friend Michael says, uh, I would really appreciate your thoughts on the new Pan Panerai Luminor 38 millimeter with cream. Dye. Oh, God. Yeah, don't don't ask me about 38 millimeter. <laughs> I, um, I, can't, I can't give a judgment until I've seen it in the flesh. Obviously, I I'm smitten too, and um, yeah, let's let's uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, uh, Scott, the zero thirty five is discontinued as well. So, I I thought I thought it would go longer. I really did. Um, let's see what people are saying. Any thoughts on automatic diver under two hundred pounds? Not Seiko. Nothing wrong with them, but I have two already. Quite understandable. That's from J Jas. Um, two hundred pounds what's that in sterling um uh, in um dollars you could hmm well orient's the probably the best you know you could probably stretch for a hamilton um i'd have a look at certina uh, i handle the certina action diver they're very nice um i would i would save up and get a mm, orient orient Orient, Orient, Orti so, Orti so. Um, Lewis, my good friend Lewis is in. Hello, sir. 
I'm going to get the Pepsi 5 next. That's Satan's Onion. Satan's Onion. I haven't seen that name in a while. You don't comment anymore. Um, it's a very difficult name not to forget. So, um, yeah, yeah. Deepak, he suggests Orient too. So, yeah, let's go. Nighthawk and SNA411 discontinued question mark. I don't think so. Thing is, Seiko moves in mysterious ways. Um, there's my SNA. Uh, I would buy them now if, you know, don't wait until the last minute. Um, I remember when I bought this for $120. <laughs> um, incredible watch, incredible watch. Buy them, buy them, buy them. Um, hello from uh, Lugano. That's Jake. Hello, sir. Uh, snowing in, Las in Vegas. Really? No. You're pulling my leg. It can't be. That would be insane, though, wouldn't it? Um, your watch is ten seconds slow. I know, I know. I haven't, I haven't said it, um, haven't said it uh, precisely. Uh, come on, let's 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 have some opinions on this. The discontinuation of the Saab, the, the current Saab line. Um, yeah, let's hear your opinions, guys. Please do share in the chat, or if you're watching this in the future, it sounds really weird saying that. Uh, in the comments, in the comments. Uh, uh, let's see, let's see. Saab now worth more than its weight in gold, says uh, Lewis. I, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, let's have a read. Seiko putting the 6R movement into a new entry level piece. Very good point. And they tend to do that. If you look at the history, they do that. Um, so I, it's a natural progression. Having said that, I still really enjoy my my seven S two six and my SKX. You know, um, so what else? People, uh, what do I think of Brightling, Alex? Uh, you must be new. What do I think of Brightling? I love Brightling. I'm a Navi timer guy, guys. I'm a Navi timer man, like like Miles Davis. Who else is a Navi timer? Seinfeld, and who else is big into Navi timers? Um, Travolta. But he's an ambassador. Is that true love? Mm. Mm, I don't know. I, I wouldn't mind his job, though. But no, I, I love Navi Timers because I love Navi Timers, you know. Uh, but Miles Davis was a big Navi. Oh, we got, um, we got a super chat or, or ultra chat or whatever it's called. Good day from Australia. Just bought my first mechanical watch. Seiko SNK0. Sorry. SNK 809, going to mod the dial on hands. Thanks for showing me the world of watches. An absolute pleasure. Pleasure. That's Harry from Australia. Oh, so not really a question. I just wanted to get that. Uh, so shout out to you. Congrats on the, um, I love, love the uh, SNK uh, 809. I have to look at that because I can't remember <laughs> the numbers, but I know which watch you mean. Um, yeah, mo modding is so fun. Uh, I love it. I love it. Congrats. It's a cracking watch. So I think, yeah, uh, prediction, new Seiko 5s are probably going to have the um, the new movements. Uh, Odium says Saab 033, uh, sorry, uh, Saab 033 discontinued. Yeah, that's what we're talking about today. So um, let's talk about Zenith, guys. Yeah, love, love Zenith. Love Zenith. I've only reviewed one so far, but I have handled quite a few. Um, incredible, incredible brand. And of course, now under the leadership of uh, Mr. Beaver. Uh, and that, uh, what was it? The De Defy, a new, uh, is it 100th of a second? Chronograph, incredible, absolutely incredible. It just breaks my heart that it's so ruddy big, you know? Uh, but then again, it's better for my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> this is the the last thing I need to do is is buy a um let's let's have a look oh my god I, I'm a uh, hacking dive watch um yeah the uh, f69 I believe in the Orients is which is in house I believe that's hacking guys correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure good evening governor from uh, Maidenhead in the UK that's Mandeep Hello, Mandeep. How are you, sir? Uh, what's what's everybody's wristwatch check? Let's um, 
So just to uh, repeat, if you missed the uh, intro, oh my God, nine nine hundred and fifty nine viewers. Sorry, I shouldn't really look at that. That's terrifying. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a uh, it's uh, the Zin one hundred and four. Zinny Zin Zin. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Rest in peace, helmet Zin. Uh, so what's everybody wearing? Uh, hello from Philadelphia. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go to Philadelphia soon. I'm, I'm uh, I want to go to that that art museum, uh, and also do the whole Rocky thing up the steps. You know, <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm serious. Um, as long as oh wait, sorry that that went a bit fast. My God, I can't keep up. Um, somebody said, oh my God, I can't keep up. Look, look at the speed this is moving at. I can't. I, <laughs> I can't keep up. Um, uh, signet rings, anywhere I can get them. Yes, have a look at my past videos. I use, uh, I personally hire Oxford, uh, what are they called? Oxford, oh my God, I've forgotten the name. I've had three rings made by them. Oxford um, Signet Ring Company, there we go. Uh, Goldcrest. Uh, um, yeah, have a look back in my videos. There's links to them. I, they have an amazing Instagram. Can is there any way to stop the to, or, or pause the, the the chat? It's going so quick. Uh, best watch on the Victorinox. Yeah. Oh God, I can't even read it. I I can't do it. <laughs> it's, it's just going mental. <laughs> um, Nth. Yeah. Yeah, that's a knacking. Knacking is hacking. Yes, absolutely. Get the knacking. Absolutely. Uh, love horology and taxidermy. That's an interesting mix of um, who said that. You see, I can't even read who said that because it moves so fast. Uh, ocean. Oh, God. Pause it. Someone else is wearing the Zin. I can't. Right. I'm just going to give up with the chat thing. <laughs> uh, let's focus and get back on track tgv okay i'm trying i'm 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 wearing my beloved sub oh i c didn't see who said that rolex hope panda's wearing the rolex uh david uh f91 very very nice um nicholas is wearing his sna uh s sna 41 i think which version is that i believe it's the is it that the gold one or is that the blue one i forget 50 Fathoms there, uh, Dog is wearing his 50 Fathoms, very nice. Tal Timex Marlin from Liam, very, very nice. Rolex Date Just from The Clown Thief. Uh, Casio Calculator from, uh, I think that was Carlo. Wow, JLC Master Control, you classy devil. Who was that? Missed it, missed it. Uh, oh. I missed that one. Dan Henry. Yeah, Lewis has got the Dan Henry 1939. Love that watch. Love that watch. Okay, let's let's get back to um, the discussion at hand. So building a killer collection under $1,000. So you can either go one watch. Is two watches a collection? Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I think three really is the magic number. I love land sea and air i love that you know or dress every day and uh, beta that's a great way to go me personally i'd pr well have to have a seiko i'd either have the sk skx as an every day as my diver so with, what is that 200 bucks 400 500 if you go modding um but if we're going to keep it under a thousand dollars skx or possibly the if you want a good chronograph, SNA four one one. Oh no, that was it. That four four one one. That's that's yeah. That's this version. Sorry guys. Um, and then I would probably you know what I'd have one vintage piece, and I was looking at vintage Amigas again. I always do. I just love love looking at them, and you can still pick them up five. For uh, four to six hundred dollars for a vintage Seamaster, you know, if you find a nice, uh, maybe um, you know, two hundred series or three hundred, 
series caliber movements, which of course are based on the old 30 T2 from um, World War Two. That that you know, the, the same architecture. It's based. They're basically derivatives of that movement. Rock solid, manual wind. Uh, you can even get a bumper, uh, an early bumper, perhaps automatic or an automatic. Um, Geneva's as well. I I I, I you know. For a thousand dollars, you can get an amazing collection. Um, so do share your nominations in the comments and in the chat. Let's let's have a look what uh, people people are saying. Scroll up, TGV. Yeah, I know. I'm tr I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, yeah, Oris Aquis. Yeah, what is the retail on those? I think they're about twelve, thirteen hundred. So it's a little bit, but you can certainly get. Uh, a, um, a used one, tons of 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 you know not the Indian specials, but the uh, you can get these really nice Oris Oris uh, Orises Orisi is that the plural uh, on the used market? Um, yeah, how about a Deep Blue One Thousand? Not familiar with that Saab Zero Three Feet and a Hamilton Khaki. Yes, and a Seiko S K N. 809 yeah you could get that for a grand absolutely who is that daniel nice one daniel i love that so the deep blue i'm not familiar with those so i can't speak for them you guys know me i don't talk about watches i've never handled or have no experience with but i have heard good things saab 033 currently is what 300 350 so the hamilton car key again and then you've got yeah you could that's well within budget so you could use the Seiko SN SKN eight zero nine. We should come up for a, with a nickname because I, I get sick of these. Um, you know, flighty, um, Sabi. <laughs> uh, yeah, Owen. Uh, haven't 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 got a nickname for that one. Zinny Zin Zin. Yeah, Zinny. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that you could definitely get that within budget. Um, sorry, excuse me, guys. Um, so what? Th there was a great question about um, the Satina brand. Now I have mentioned Satina in my top ten underrated the brands. Satina have an incredible history. They they were one of the first to build shock resistant cases that could withstand. I can't remember. I covered it in that video. Have a look back. They have a great history to them. Very under the radar. Highly under under appreciated. Very clean, tasteful design. Swiss made, of course. Uh, and quality. I've handled the uh, action diver. Is it action diver? Is that cog? bezel very nice um and the day date they did i forget the name i think it was something something 80 god i can't remember but yeah they were great satina's fantastic guys check out satina i haven't reviewed one because they're difficult to get in the united states um i don't know any authorized dealers uh, having said that if you own a satina and you want to lend it in email me the urban gentry at gmail.com I'm a little bit behind. I was actually supposed to publish a review today, but I'm delaying it because I wanted to to talk about you know this pretty big news. I mean, the Saab line, you know, it's an important watch for me. It's an important watch for the channel. A lot of you guys love these watches, as do I. Uh, I hardly ever see mine because my wife uh, nicks it basically <laughs> all the time. Got it on a lovely. Uh, what is this? Oh yeah, this is that German, that lovely German suede. It's a, uh, it's a kind of uh, tan suede. It just works so well. I'm gonna wear it for sake of Saturday tomorrow. So the, yeah, the, the the review I'll I'll do it I'll do it um, for the weekend, and yeah, I, I I'll I'll cover Satina eventually. It's just uh, also guys, you've got to bear in mind I'm also doing freelance editing work now um, and if you want and I'm talking not audio editing because I've, I'm done with that but with uh, video editing so I've got a couple of projects on the go 
which is great because it supports the channel and I can work freelance so I can still do the channel and do video editing. Um, and it's not, totally unrelated to the channel. However, uh, you know, um, I'm not, I'm not opposed to, to, to doing any freelance editing work. If you want trailers, teasers, intros, that kind of stuff, you know, uh, please do get in touch. Um, but for commercials, trailers, um, even corporate videos, I am editing uh, professionally now, so which is really, really great. And it's so strange because I never would have imagined I would have made that trans transition, but I have. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking about that. Well, I guess I'm kind of, yeah, I'm plugging my, if you want any editing work, let me know. Um, uh, Damien says, uh, Seiko SKX009, so good, I love it, thanks. Uh, I don't know if he's thanking me or, or, or somebody in the comments, but yeah, I'm just happy to hear you're enjoying it. Uh, hello from ATL, that's Chris, hello sir, how are you? Um, uh, currently wearing my Saab 033, nice one. Who is, ah, oh, who is that? Oh, hold on. I've lost the, the, the ruddy thing now. Here we go. Who was that? Mm. And it's gone. And it's gone. Oh, we've got Robert. Hi, TGV. He's got a question. This is Snoo S Snoopy. Snoopy. Snoop Dogg. I don't know why I'm thinking of Snoop Dogg. Uh, super chat question. Uh, hi, TG, currently wearing my, my now discontinued Saab 017 and drinking Stella Artois. Stella, lovely. Well, salute, I've I've got boring water, I'm afraid. I will have vino in a little while. It's not quite vino time yet, but salute. So that's uh, Robert. Mm. And it's not a Ractuccino for my, my Trekkies out there. It is just water. Very hard to find um, killing on Ractuccino in Queens. Uh, Edgar is wearing his uh, Victorinox Inox. Oh, the carbon. Beautiful. And a tank. Very nice. I love that one. Um, opinion on the Seiko 55 for Fathoms? Well, I, I, I've, I, I owned one. Um, I, I have actually sold it to my good friend uh, Jaime. If he's watching, shout out to you. I, yeah, I had one custom modded. I have sold it uh, I to fund another modding project, no less. Um, I, when you, I'm going to do a video about it soon. It will make sense what I'm doing because I'm, I won't give the game away. I'll come back to that. But yeah, I love the 55 Fathoms. I loved it. Um, Antoine, TGB, do you have an opinion on copper watches? Not familiar with them. Sorry. Um, We'll come back to that. What watches do I miss regret selling? Great question. Too many, too many. Um, I think Speedmasters, they, I forget the reference, but it was the Speedmaster that reduced the second one with the sapphire and the slightly cleaner dial. Uh, with the upgraded water resistance and the and the um, the better clasp. Uh, having said that, for some reason I just uh, that one I, I miss the most. The Aquis, of course, the forty millimeter Aquis. Uh, now, yeah, the new Aquis has come out, um, but they're so difficult to get. I can't find them. It was had a brushed. I think it was a tungsten bezel, it might have been tungsten, or I can't remember, but it was just, I really, really regret selling that because I can't buy it again. I just, you can't find them. Um, they they weren't made in that much, in as high an amount as obviously the 43 millimeters. So yeah, that's my biggest regret, I think. Uh, how many people were watching? Oh my God, 983, 985. Wow, that's great. If everybody gives a like, <laughs> that would be fantastic. And um, yeah, no wonder the chat is going so fast. Um, let's have a look. Uh, TGV, ever thought of comparing the mascot to Zin? Yes, I, I will eventually. I am in talks about getting the mascot in. Um, 
it will happen it will happen uh but it's it's got a it it's got its work cut out it's got its work cut out so wristwatch check for the new viewers oh nearly at a thousand nine hundred and ninety four come on come on um that's crazy i don't even know 997 people let's get to a thousand come on guys let's get to a thousand not that not that i get any kind of prize or anything but anyway um regrets selling the tso Janeiro. yeah i do but i don't miss it i think my ratrapant uh, or ratrapante if you want to be italian about it the ratrapant has kind of filled in that void um it was too rare and too delicate and i got scared wearing it having said that the ratrapant is just as delicate and rare so it makes no sense but yeah i do i of course of course but i sold it for a good cause um i needed to uh to fund a, 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 a gift for my wife and it, so i don't regret it you know because her enjoyment was worth it it's funny i you know when you sell something for something like that it's it, it's you don't really think about it anyway uh samurai uh, sake of samurai g-shock bambino three good pieces yeah who was that mr andrew sorry i'm looking down i'll um let's see if i can prop this up so i can actually let's put this here there we go that's better let's just move this a bit sorry guys bear with me let's just move that there we go nice nice there we go so now I can, I'm not looking down like this all the time. Um, Amiga history. Ah, oh, this divisive question here. We got, um, um, that's NI addictive guy. I, I remember you from the comments. Hello, sir. Thank you so much for all your commentary. He said, uh, Amiga history versus Rolex history. Well, that's a tough one because they both have such a rich, long, prestigious history amiga goes back further obviously um however god we could discuss that that's a whole video in itself personally mm, they're, they're neck and neck and i'm not trying to be diplomatic they're very neck and neck very very neck and neck what do you guys think leave your comments um should i save for a tudor heritage 38 Yes, I know. If you want, if you want it, go for it. Uh, if that's the watch for you. Uh, greetings, TGV. Thoughts on the Long Jeans Master Collection Retrograde Moon Phase? Love that watch. Love that watch. I almost um, have. I reviewed it. I have reviewed a no, not the Retrograde. I reviewed the other one. I forget um, the name, but I love it. I almost. Uh, I. Came very close to reviewing that one as well. I love it. Honestly, it's a smashing watch. I love the layout of the dial. The the, um, the uh, I think one's a, a power reserve or is it a date? I I forget. But anyway, gorgeous, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm wearing my watch because of you, Momento Mori. Thanks ever so much, Rocco. Thank you so much. What's your favorite diver under five grand? Uh, that's from Ocean favorite diver under five grand oh thing is if i say squally one five excuse me if i say squally one five two one that's under a thousand so there's like four four grand that's gone to waste so i can't really say that even though it is my favorite uh i just you guys know i have an affinity for that watch but if i had the five grand and you said to me buy a buy a diver probably the black bay shoot a black bay but that's a bit too easy the best is oh no no amiga 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 what am i thinking seamaster planet ocean 39 millimeter if i can get it um yeah planet ocean the the newer 39 millimeter coaxial boom done microphone drop <laughs> no i know but that's that's my opinion you know um great question great great question 
Uh, TGV, you should check out the, the SBEX007. Let's do that now. Let's let's check that out now. Uh, whenever there's a watch, I don't know. I'm going to check it out. And actually, that reminds me. Somebody recommended me a piece last week that I'd never heard of, and it turned out to be a joke. It was a watch in trading places. And like a Muppet, I, I, I looked it up. And then I was well, obviously I got the joke then, but um, um, oh, damn it, where's the where is it? Come on, it, it scrolled away already. Let's go back. I've lost it. I've lost it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh no no, here we go. S B E, S B E. Sorry, this is not very entertaining to look at me. <laughs> me looking, trying to master. I, uh, technology like an old like an old man um let's have a look s b d x zero zero oh my gosh what is that oh that's really tall it is that it is this that is a serious serious watch very tooltastic. What's the bezel? It's got a, it's got a compass. Um, it's a little bit like you know what that's like. It's a bit like a Breitling. That that bezel, that sculpted bezel. It's very kind of Breitling esque, isn't it? Um, what's the size of this? What is that size? Hmm. Landmaster is that what it's called? That that that's a cool name. That landmaster, of course, the compass. Very cool. It looks a bit like a diver, but then it has, you know, it's got that diver layout. But then um, the compass. That that is a really cool piece. Uh, how, how much do they go for? I've never see. That's the thing I love about Seiko. You you every every um. Sorry, I got a hair there. Every uh, every day you discover a new Seiko. It's crazy. Um, uh, Seiko Chariot. Not familiar with that one either. Um, let's have a look. Let's let's let more suggestions on a killer watch collection for a thousand dollars. And again, if you're watching this in the um, in the future. Let's uh, put it in the comments, please. Um, let's have a look. Th thoughts on automatics between five hundred dollars and a thousand dollars. Oh, thoughts on Hamilton? Yes, that is the 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 Hamilton sweet spot. If you go vintage under five hundred dollars, amazing. Uh, if you go new, my favorite is the X Patrol because you get so much bang for your buck. Uh, it's a 7750 Vajou. You've got day date, obviously. Uh, it's a chronograph, very clean. Almost, a little bit like the Navi Time in its style, but you have its own distinct personality. Um, I think, I think, uh, what else is there? Well, there's so much from Hamilton. I, I wouldn't even know, know where to begin. You've got the car key, you've got the car key chronographs. They're about, well under a thousand um you've got certain discontinued models like the linwood which is a small smaller 38 i believe it was again 7750 uh you've got the x wing wind x wind um that's a cracking piece big though that's big the x patrols are 42 um yeah so much that's what that's what i look at but if you don't like if you don't like chronographs, you want something more uh, dressy. There's the intramatic, or is it instramatic? I can never, never really remember that. Um, yeah, I, I forget. Sorry, I forget who asked that question. But thank you, really good uh, points. Oh, it was deal, deal first here, deal first here. Uh, let's have a look. Um, here we go. Uh, will you be reviewing the Hamilton car key, uh, the new Hamilton car key? Um, actually, I think there's so much. Probably, I'm. Not, I wouldn't say no. Um, 
Oh, how do I do that? Sorry, I need to I need to put it that way up. There we go. Let's just go back. Um, sorry, guys. I the chat moves so quick. I can't. Um, I can't keep up. One thousand viewers. Je oh, Jeremy's in. Hello, Jeremy. Hello, sir. How are you? I ho I hope you are well. Um, uh, Kindred Spirit, my good friend, Kindred Spirit. Shout out to you. Uh, has one of the best Instagrams out there. Beautiful. Um, but he bikes all over the United Kingdom and it's such stunning, I stunning pictures. Because you know what? I I get bored of looking at just watches. So it's nice to have you know, beautiful scenery and especially England and well, the United Kingdom generally. Um, oh, Giancarlo. Oh, Abello, uh, he's in. Um, how important are papers looking at 2009 Navi time of the A23322? Yep. That's, I, I believe that's my reference, but only comes with international warranty booklet obviously has long since inspired missing certificate manuals. If you are buying for yourself, yeah. Um, for me, I'll, I'll, in, for me, I, I don't, I don't care about the papers. I don't know that some, some people might scoff at that, but it's not, it's not essential. Okay. If you are buying a watch for yourself, for your enjoyment, you don't really intend on reselling it. As long as the watch is, is the real thing and it's, um, it's original and the, you trust the seller and all the rest of it. Have a look back at my 10 questions to ask, et cetera, et cetera. It's not the end, BN, uh, what it was the expression. Uh, the, uh, it, it, it's not the most important thing in the world. Okay. Um, if you are buying for an investment, that's totally different. If you're buying, you know, possibly thinking about selling it later on, then obviously the papers is going to help. Um, but I wouldn't worry about it. I'd be more concerned with, what you're paying for it uh, the price should reflect that it should be a little bit less if it hasn't got box and papers obviously um sorry i got another text message oh that's work stuff um <laughs> uh yeah ideal collection casio duro hamilton khaki vintage amiga constellation yes nailed it absolutely for a thousand dollars definitely definitely so you got the, the Casio Duro. Who is that? Real. Casio Duro is your, your beta or Duro, I should say. Duro. Duro, because Duro means hard in um, Italian. Oh, we got a we got a, a, a another snoo snooper, snooper, super chat. Hey TGV, this is from from the from the Vin. From the Vin. Hello, sir. He says, uh, my picks are the Saab 03. Uh, Saab 033, yes, SKX, and SA, SNA411, yeah, so an entire Seiko collection, but yeah, you got, you got land, sea, and air, perfect, the perfect, it, I almost have it there, well, I got two of them here, my, my, my SKX, where is my SKX, it's in another room, but yeah, um, sorry, that's upside down, so yeah, absolutely, nailed it, nailed it, Thank you for inspiring me to make my own YouTube channel. Ah, oh, fantastic. Uh, where I review watches and more. Check it out. I will do. I will do. Um, so good luck. I will uh, send me an email and I'll check it out later. Uh, I'm really bad at um, keeping up with, with YouTube stuff because um, sometimes the, uh, the downfall of doing YouTube is you don't really have time for actual, actually enjoying it. Um, so let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, uh, J J Jabai says, uh, dress watch Orient Envoy. I think I know that one. Diver SK007, uh, F91W, and, and a Tinsel Flieger. Not familiar with them. Uh, very nice. So you got you got a digital. Great. I guess that would be your beta. You got a, a, a an aviation piece with your flieger. You got a diver and a dress watch. Perfect. Um, it, I'm guessing that's under a thousand. You, yeah, yeah. 
Um, let's see. Oh, uh, Kindred Spirit, he says, DW5600. Uh, he said, G-Shock, yes. Um, Turtle, very nice. Visodate and the Expedition, which I presume is the Timex. Beautiful, very rounded collection. So you've got Swiss, you've got Japanese, you've got uh, G-Shock. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, my God, I'm so behind. That these com I'm responding to comments from like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm gonna try and catch up. Uh, Gamer six six two eight from Cairo. Very cool. Very cool. Um, yeah. The um, Ron uh, says, "What are your thoughts on the new updated Presage cocktail timeline?" I was going to review them actually, and I asked Mark at um, Long Island Watches, and I, you know, I, because I borrow watches from him, you know, and then, then obviously I send them back. Um, sorry, excuse me, my voice gets a bit dry. Um, and I was I was about to review one, but they sold out before <laughs> before I could get my my greedy horological mitts on them. Um, maybe that's a good thing because they, they're stunning. They're stunning. But guys, you know, any Saab, they're not going to be, unless, unless they did something, you know, horrendous in, in their production uh, technique, uh, they're going to be great. All Saabs are great, you know, I, unless I hear otherwise. I, I, do, I don't think it's even a risk, you know. Uh, Buonasera, Eduardo. Sorry, there's something flying around. Uh, Marine Master, yeah, yeah, JC. So I, I presume, Jeremy, you just go Marine Master one watch collection for a thousand dollars. Any suggestion chronographs under forty millimeters for Marco? Yeah, there's tons. Um, you could go vintage, not vintage. Um, I have right here. This is my Britix. This is a uh 35 millimeter um this is a venus 188 if i recall correctly so this was about 200 bucks but i spent a couple hundred restoring it um no actually i i didn't i didn't spend a couple hundred i only i just had to replace the crown and have it um just the 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 the, the movement checked out so um yeah you can but be warned, have a look back at my video of, 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 of the dangers of buying um, vintage chronographs. It can be expensive. But if, if you pick a lovely one up for 200 and you know you're going to spend 200, 400 uh, restoring it, then you, you know what you're doing. So, yeah, there's so much. Have a look at the car key, car key Hamilton car key chronographs if you want to go new. There's tons under 1,000 um they're about 38 millimeters what else what else what else 38 millimeters you could go with the fortis cosmonaut official cosmonaut chronograph and you know if you pick them up they're they're getting expensive now i doubt you pick them up for under a thousand uh, i i was very lucky i was very very lucky um uh, Chad says Rado thumbs down. Uh, that's a shame. I I really like the Captain Cook. I'm dying to get one in for a view. Uh, if anybody has the Captain Cook, uh, do email me. Do email me. I, I, I'll put it to the top of the list, and you know I'll, I'll I'll try and you know it takes me a couple of weeks to you know because obviously I have to wear it and and, and get an idea of the watch. Um, Ni addictive guy says citizen are better than Sega. He he keeps coming with these controversial subject. Oh, very very divisive. Uh, I think their quality is better. I don't think in terms of their uh, history and just the amount. I think Seiko is better, even though the quality is better on Citizen. But that's my opinion, guys. Don't get offended. Citizen are amazing. Eco Drive amazing. Um, I used to have the Pro Master. The, the the all the pro masters from the divers to the flight watches oh of course we haven't even um pro master chronographs amazing aviation watches the yeah yeah the skyhawk navihawk amazing watches um 
Okay, let's let's try. Oh, marathon. Yeah, somebody a marathon. Um, this is expeditionary range. He says marathon J S A R or T S A R. Wanted one for six years, but no way to try online. Uh, minimum risk is the J, uh, J S A R. Well, if you're in for the big one, get the J. Um, get yeah, get that one. I like. Uh, they're all good, you know. Stay tuned. We're going to be covering Marathon again soon because they, I, they're amazing brand. I would go for. I prefer the TSAR, but that's just preference, honestly. Uh, what about the Breguet Type uh, Twenty? Yes, yes, absolutely. Now there's a watch that's never talked about. Um, I've been dying to review one for a while, but they're just. Yeah, I don't know anybody that has one, so it's uh, um, let's have a look. Uh, da, 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 da. Opinions in the Belova Super for Seville, yeah, they're great. Um, ETA based, you know, they're they're very homage, you know, day dates. Um, if you have no problem with that, then they're fine. It's the Belova, great brand, I, you know um oh wait we got a message from david in iraq no no sorry david in iran he says hamilton khaki auto seiko skx 007 and an amiga c master 300 mm, i don't think you could get that under a grand possibly two grand possibly two grand but yeah that is a cracking trio three icons cracking trio i love that I love that. But yeah, you're looking at two grand for that. Um, Seiko, uh, no, no, sorry. Alexander, are you getting the new Oris in 39 millimeters? No, I'm not, I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to reach out to Saltzman's. Uh, when they get new stock in, I will borrow one to review, uh, which I'm kind of a little bit trepidatious about because um, – I'm trying to save for my speedy, so I really don't want to get, you know, pulled into an Oris Aquis. Uh, I will review it regardlessly. I have to review it. Um, I've, I've still got, actually, I've still got a lot of Oris stuff I have to cover. So, uh, sorry, let me just move that a bit closer. So, yeah, um, Giancarlo just says, Subby, I don't know why. I'm not, I'm, I'm wearing the Zin. Or maybe he's wearing his subby. What's uh, Giancarlo wearing? Um, oh my god, I'm so behind. Sorry, sorry, guys. Um, A double A says SKX Khaki King Nighthawk Vintage Timex. Yes, absolutely nailed it. Um, yeah, definitely uh win win yip oh my good friend win yip how are you sir he says damn these tgv taxes sorry i i mean what can i do I, I you know the thing is i always my focus is always on watches that i i feel should be talked about offer value uh that i genuinely like or i'm interested in occasionally i get a watch that i'm not mad about um but that's the thing when that's the problem is when you talk about things you love other people are gonna are gonna um kind of you make you make them you make people wear you know for example the the flight is classic example when i bought this for 120 bucks i couldn't believe the enjoyment i got for that money and and i had to share it and and then other people bought it and had the same experience some people didn't okay yeah that's fine um it, you know different di different strokes and all the rest of it but um there's only a finite amount of them so it, it's it's inevitable that prices are going to range uh, uh, rise you know I, anyway um hello from chicago wristwatch check seiko ssg 001 i'm not familiar with that Let's let's just look that up. See the the thing with the numbers, you look them up and then you go, oh, it's that one, <laughs> you know, uh, SSG, zero zero one. Let's have a look. Put it on a NATO, right? 
Oh, and hello. That's Michael, my good friend Michael. I recognize your the B logo. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. That is I know that watch. It's a it's a big boy. It, it's a big one. Um, it's basically like a souped up flight master. There we go. Can you see that? Very nice. I love that um that chapter ring in in it does it turn the uh, I presume the bezel rotates because it has a, a cog edge to it four pushes so uh what has that got that's got that must have a heck of a lot uh, let's find the spec for that i love your choice michael very very nice let's look, look let's, let's look at the spec so it's seiko prospects it's called the funk solar very b bizarre name actually i'm looking on amazon uh Where's the spec? Where's the specification? Oh, here we go. So it's uh, a chronograph. There we go. So it's chronograph, hundred meter water resistance. It's got to have forty seven millimeters. That that's a beast. I I envy you, my friend. I envy you. Um, it doesn't say what else other features it has. That's that's annoying. Well, Amazon's useless anyway, isn't it? It's not really. They, they always have you noticed have you guys noticed how, how amazon has sometimes they get the specifications completely wrong it's quite humorous um let's have a look um let's have a look I'm like an old man um oh here we go so split time measurement Power, uh, power saving function, world time function, right? That's why it's got four pushes. It's a bit more complex, uh, complicated. Uh, screw down crown, very cool. So it's a tough cookie. Uh, it receives a radio signal, so it's it might be multi band six. Uh, it's got a 24 hour hand, right? Interesting. It's it's a really cool watch. That's a ri oh, sorry. That is a re wait, wait, hold on. There we go. That look at that deep. Ah, oh, man, that's a sexy chronograph. Look at those massive. Um, the uh, what is that? The um, sword handle. No, actually, it's it's almost a bit like a plunger. It's it's classic aviation hands, but yeah, I really like that, and I love the layout, the sub dials. It's it's a bit like navy got that v v layout anyway sorry i'm getting distracted i'm looking at um i need to get back on track uh thoughts on the new range man it's uh, i mustn't be negative but who who asked me that find find the error again i i don't really like the look of it you know i'm sorry it also it's bigger i know it's got a new module and it's got a different um i think it has a new dot matrix display or something um look i love the range man but you know what buy the old one because they're 200 bucks on amazon um uh look i I'll, I'll i'll reserve judgment until i see it in the flesh and then i can give you obviously i'll give you a fair assessment jacob says good day from australia uh what's the captain cook it's a dive watch it's a reissue of a of an old uh rado i sorry i call it rado because i you know ends in the valve uh valve vowel um so it you know i say it the italian way um a beautiful little i think it, what is it 36 38 something like that uh beautiful beautiful vintage inspired reissue of a, of a dive watch have a look at them they're gorgeous i i've yet to um um have yet to uh gamer girl nation says tgb what auto watch would fit me well you have to share your wrist size but then again you know that's not it's not the definitive answer um sometimes you know wrist shapes can vary so much it um also you know so you you specified you want automatic you need to look at what genre 
have a look at what kind of style your sartorial choice is. If you're very casual, very smart, obviously that's going to affect what uh, the genre of the watch or the style of the watch. Um, look at your price range. That's going to also help you narrow down your, your choice. Um, and then once you know that, I will, you know, if you, um, you know, I can't presume you want smaller watches. You know, some some um, ladies love um, to borrow their boyfriend's watches. Like um, uh, my wife does that all the time. So, um, but yeah, have, share in the comments in the in the chat, and we'll we'll help you. Um, but we just need to define the parameters a little bit more because otherwise, it's you know, uh, I, I want an automatic watch. What would you suggest? That's that's a very, you know, it's a broad. So I would look at those key things. It's like five things, really. Um, Stoa Portofino fisticuffs with the Nomos. Yes, that's Michael. Um, yeah, that would be a really cool jewel. Two German, German, uh, oh, um, I like them both, but oof. Um, ESA 062 Breguet is a brand with history. It certainly is. It certainly is. Um, uh, who else? Who else? Uh, what have we got? What do you think of the Rolex Tonograph? Depends on the on the reference, but um, yeah, I like them. Yeah, and that, that, uh, that's Carlos. Um, uh, I'm not going to read that. <laughs> uh, Jas says, uh, TGV, you got me hooked on NATOs. He's a bad man. Laugh out loud. Sorry. <laughs> no, they're very practical. I, I, I just love them, you know. Uh, Justin, what are you going to swap with GCR? Oh, that's a conversation and thing. Um, uh, Esprant, he's put a super chat, but he hasn't. Uh, he's, he's just put, uh, well, thank you for that my friend esperant thank you sir um yeah uh let's have a look sorry i'm gonna try and catch up i'm so behind oh okay michael michael uh it's a five dollar um super chat question thank you michael sorry i'm really behind now how are we for time how long have we been on there um just coming up to an hour 20 we'll do another half hour um michael Zin five five six red, so that's a very minimalist versus a used Tudor Ranger. What do you say? Thanks, TGV. Okay, well, thank you, Michael. Ooh, ooh, I'd go with the Zin. You know why? Because first of all, there's something I love the Ranger. Don't get me wrong, but. There's something about the Zin. I, I think, I think, I just think they're they're better watches at that price range. You're buying it new. You get to be the first owner. Uh, you got that little pop of red. Um, the Zin five five six is such a clean, beautiful, balanced design. It's no nonsense. It's it's. I'd go for the Zin. Uh, that's my opinion. That's my opinion you know excuse me where's my drink mm. um yeah there's a uh, yeah i can't repeat that <laughs> nicholas is, is in argentina very cool dying to visit um argentina uh let's uh let's uh Nice, nice. Um, love C CWC. I'm. I have yet to experience them. Yeah, I have yet to experience. Um, TGV is so sexy. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> From Professor. Thank you. Bit, bit strange, but okay. Fair, fair enough. Um, oh, okay, right, 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 right. Yeah, okay. 
uh let let's let's uh the perfect dress watch patek calatrava or a lange saxonia oh, big money there um that's from jaspreet my good friend jaspreet um i'd go a lange just because i think i love the calatrava they're both so understated i just I just think the Lange is a bit more of a, uh, a unique choice, um, even though there, there's really not that much. And I, and actually, Lange, come on, let's be honest, they're finishing, in my opinion. Um, I think their quality is better than Patek. Ooh, I know I'm going to get some flack for that. Honestly, I I can't base it on... I haven't been to the Lange factory and I haven't been to the Patek factory yet, right? One day we will, we will go. Um, but holding them in my hand, just my initial impression, uh, I've, I, I, from past experience, the Lange, the Lange, they're better quality. They're, and I can't really, just that tactile feeling. Um, and I do like the, min, I, I do like the, it's almost Bauhaus, you could say, but it's a little bit more classic than Bauhaus. The, the Calatrava is a little predictable. Don't get me wrong, I love the Calatrava. It is absolute pure class. They're both pure class. But yeah, Lange, that would be a great duel. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, let's have a look. Any G GMT alternatives? That's from Diego. I've done a video on affordable alternatives um i presume you're talking about the rolex if you're if you're not interested in that style um amiga do some great gmts in, in the seamaster line um zin uh, do some fantastic gmts who else uh, who else who else hamilton um yeah yeah um thoughts on raymond uh, raymond wheel i haven't haven't experienced them so i can't really say that's from navit uh, um let's have a look do do i like tso i love tso that's from meme i mean i've i've owned several tso in, in fact before i had a channel i owned the the PRC, I can't remember if it was 500 or 1,000, but yeah, cracking watches. Uh, one of the best entry level to the Swiss. What Their quality is fantastic. Uh, Winyip says, have I watched Dark Hour with uh, Churchill's Breguet pocket watch? C recreated one-on-one -on -one for Gary Oldman. No, I'm dying to. I, I'm very excited about that. I love Gary Oldman, huge Gary Oldman fan. Uh, obviously. Uh, it's a favorite era of, of history, and I've, I've read so many books on Churchill, so I'm dying to, to see it. Um, uh, Gary Oman is the ultimate chameleon. You only have to look at his, you know, his Mason Verger in Hannibal or uh, Lee Harvey Oswald in JFK. Um, who else has he done? Um, in True Romance, um, oh, God, what was his name? The, the pimp, the character, the pimp, amazing. I mean, you know, it's, it's the ultimate actor for transformations. Um, so I'm dying to see it. I, I actually, having said that, I've just bought Dunkirk, so uh, got the DVD. Um, so yeah, I I missed it, missed out when it came out in the cinema. Um, how it will compare to. Uh, who who did the the other the other um, Albert Finney was amazing. If you've seen Enter the um, Before the Storm, was it Enter the Storm? I forget. But Albert Finney was incredible. Uh, but I know you know Gary Oldman's going to nail it. So, uh, but please don't tell me. I'm 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 dying to see it. But in in terms of his pocket watch, well, I covered his his date just. If you saw the video on on um, I did on Rolex date just. Um, so yeah, it's a beautiful breguet. Um, so of course, I mean, I love it. I mean, does anyone have to, yeah, it's I'm predictable really, but, uh, 
Um, do I prefer Nautilus or Royal Oak? Royal Oak all the way. It was the first one. I love the, the, the angles. I'm newly converted to the Royal Oak. I didn't always used to love it, mainly because I had a boss that owned one, and he was uh, a not, shall we say, a, a bit of an undesirable character. And I, for the longest time, I would associate the Royal Oak with him. Um, so it kind of ruined it for me. but. Uh, I'm not into the Nautilus whatsoever. Uh, I've 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 worn them both, so it's not you know I'm not you know I have worn them. So um, I just like the angles of the Royal Oak, and also the 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 it's linked to British history. If you know the uh, Genta's, the octagonal shape is a reference to the eight British battleships named Royal Oak. So there's there's a historical uh, link there. So it's just a winner for me. Um, I don't like the chronographs. I don't like the offshore. That's just me. If you love them, good for you. Enjoy them. I just like the simple three hands um, date. Yeah, I love them. I, I, um, and I would even, I love the bracelet. That was my favorite thing about it. the way it angles down. It's really, really cool. So uh, yeah, what about you guys? Wh which do you prefer? Um, comments, chats, all the rest of it. Uh, sorry, I'm just I'm just trying to catch up again. Uh, love vintage Satina. Yes, vintage. I so nearly bought one, um, and I got outbid at the last moment. It was really annoying. Really, really annoying. Um, let's have a look. Valley de Jou is the place. Uh, the most watchmakers in Switzerland tours. Yes, Valley de Jou. That, that's um, Jager Le Coultre were there. Um, we, I, I'm not going to, there's still some videos to come, but I'm not going to ruin the surprise. But um, we did visit some other places there. Uh, so stay tuned. Um, and we will be going back. I, I, I haven't, you know, booked tickets just yet, but we will be back to Switzerland. Luca, my good friend Luca, he's, his selection, um, Tissot Le, Le Loc, beautiful, uh, which we covered uh, with a video with uh, an Explorer Brothers video with um, GCR. And uh, Citizen... Oh, uh, Anity Soul Visa Date, Citizen NY0040, Seiko SKX, Lack of Fliege, Steinart GMT. Can you get that all for a grand? Or is that two different collections? It's a lovely lineup. I love all those suggestions. Haley, oh, we've got another super chat question. Haley says, um, just bought an, a Saab 017 Al Alpinist. Uh, TGV going to wear it on my wedding. Nice. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you very much for your uh, super chat uh, post there. Oh, we got another one from Carl. Carl Frederick. Torn between a date just 41 smooth bezel or an Explorer 39 millimeter. Wow. You know me. Explorer all day, my friend. Explorer all day. Um, The date just is great. I personally, I don't like the forty-one millimeters. I think it doesn't feel like a date just. I know that sounds crazy. Go for the Explorer. You know, it's such class. Come on, you can buy a date just anytime you want. Um, well, you can buy an Explorer anytime you want. Why, why did I say that? Um, n trust me, trust me. Explorer has got more class. In my opinion, date just is they're, they're great. You know, I've I've owned a bunch of them, um, but there's just something about the cleanliness of that no date that that layout. It's it's you know I'm well yeah I'm biased. What can I? Say? Um, <laughs> no, that's not that's not what my TGV stands for. Sorry, Logan, uh, wrong. Uh, Josh Joshua, if uh, says, um, oh, and thank you, Carl Friedrich, for your post. Good luck. Listen, don't listen to me. You know, listen to your heart. You know what? Go try them both on, and you will know that instant because it that will be the deciding factor for you. Um, Joshua says, if timepieces had a godfather, 
Godfather, Don Don T G V. Um, if timepieces had a Godfather, Don T G V. Is that a question? I I don't I don't. Joshua, please do uh, ask that again, and I'll I'll be happy to answer. Uh, dive watch around one thousand five hundred. Aquis, yeah, Aquis all day. Aquis. Um, that's from Andrew. Thank you, Andrew. Evening, T TGV. Another long night shift. Uh, that's from Vincent. Oh, Vincent from uh, the UK. How are you, sir? I haven't heard from you for a while. You need. To, uh, you haven't commented. Um, I do. I do remember a lot of you guys from from the early days. And uh, sometimes you change the, the the avatar, and I don't recognize you. But this is a great way. I'm going to do this every fortnight just to because I love interacting with you guys. That's that's the best thing. Um, Churchill's pocket watch was quite amazing. Had ha, um, how many complications it was had? Yes, I saw a picture. Beautiful dial layout. Um, it was very symmetrical, if I remember correctly. Uh, and of course, the quality. Yes, I will. Um... Oh, Gary Oldman made a great villain in Leon. Yes, e ESA. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm behind again. Behind. Uh, any fins here? Uh, Elias says, um, uh, sorry, I'm so behind. Let me just catch up. Just going to, pure class. Uh, that's dirty mouthwash. That's an interesting name. <laughs> um, how many viewers? Down to 800. Okay, we nearly touched on 1,000 viewers. I get what time is it? Well, in the UK, there, it's getting quite late. Yeah. Um, yeah, Vincent he agrees. Not uh, loves the thirty-six millimeter date. Just yeah, me too, me too. Um, oh, Luca. Yeah, sorry. He's 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 posted again. Governor, my selection: Le Lock or Visa Date. Right. So one of those: SKX or Promaster, Alaka or Steinhardt. Right. So that yeah, because I was gonna say that's like two grand right there. Yeah. Great, great options for your one thousand dollar collection. Love that. If I was gonna go with that, I'd go the lock because it's chronometer certified. The visa date isn't. I'd go SKX. Sorry, Promaster, but you know SKX. What can I say? Uh, with the Laco or the Steinhardt, I'd go Laco because Laco is is one of the five German brands that that produced uh, Fliegers during the war, so it's got that history, it's got that prestige, and Laco, in my opinion, are better made than Steinhardt. Uh, of course, that's you know uh, up for debate. Um, just from my experience handling them, <laughs> excuse me. Um, so yeah, great choices, Luca. I love it. Well, of course, it's Luca. You know, my good friend um he has always the best comments on uh, the videos uh, it's, it's, ne it's never complete if um without uh, if there's no comment on a video with without luca mike uh my good friend mike hydro pneumatic walk playing walking on the moon can't do that with a rolex fair enough fair enough thank you sir uh uh, da, 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 da. Greetings from a fellow New Yorker. Greetings to you, Christopher. Uh, how are you, sir? Um, Jared. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's, uh, oh, we're almost caught up. We're almost caught up. Uh, trash. <laughs> trash kiwi. Ki, kiwi kiwi. I can't even pronounce it. So do, do you, are you more Italian or English? Uh, or if you're in between the two, maybe you're French. <laughs> Geographically, technically, I should be French. Yes, um, I'm. I'm half an. Well, actually, I'm a mix of some other things as well. Um, got a little bit of German in me. Um, uh, what else? Bit of Scottish, bit of German, uh, but mainly British Italian. So, um, yeah, and even within those. But there's a lot, you know, so it's 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 complicated. But um, yeah, it's it's yeah, it's interesting. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, David, uh, eight five zero zero planet ocean orange or mirror or mirrored numerals. Um, 
I do like the orange. It's a it's a little bit of pizzazz. It's got a bit of pop to it. Ah. But will it age? Will it will it still look good? Um well, it's definitely more legible. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. If if I had the orange bezel, I don't know. I I, I might go for the orange. It's just a little bit of, you know, a little bit more pizzazz. Uh, Stephen, hi, TGV. Almost purchased the Saab 017 based on re your review. Sorry. Then I saw the SARW019. Not familiar with that one. Let me just look it up. It says for a couple of hundred more, and it has 28,800 vibrations now, the 6R21 movement. In, uh, I uh, haven't looked back. Well, good. I'm. I'm going to look that. Well, that's the best thing when you when you're when you're satisfied, isn't it? Um, let's look that up. S A R W zero nineteen. Oh wow, wow. I'm not familiar with that at all. So that's what he's talking about. Very different watch. It, it, it's uh, obviously it's chronograph. Um, where's the chronograph hat? Where's the buttons? Oh, no, it's not a chronograph. Sorry. Sorry, got that wrong. So I was going to say, where's the pushers? It's it's a day date with power reserve. There you go. So, and it's got lovely big Arabic numerals. It Yeah, obviously, I can see why it's more expensive because of the complications. Um, oh, it's got 24-hour time in gray on the inner part of the dial. If I just go really close, you can see that. Do you see that, guys? Do you see that? Very cool. Very, very cool. I. This is what I'm saying about Seiko. There's every day, so that's two Seikos I've never heard of that we, you know, that we've brought up. I'm, yeah. What do you guys think is gonna replace the new uh, Saab 033? 35 and 17 do you think they're gonna have um do you think that's the end for the saab 033 and 35 i i put money that there's going to be a new alpinist there has to be because it's such a long prestigious line if you remember at the beginning of this stream uh we were discussing that um so definitely new alpinist is on the way I don't think it's going to be green. I think it's going to, I hope, I hope, touch wood, touch wood, it's going to be blue, right? Facciamo la corna. Um, bonjour from uh, Montreal. Very cool. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Um, what's your wrist size for reference? That's from Mike. Uh, it's six and a quarter inches. So very, very thin. Um, yeah um hi from Darien island that's Emon. hello my friend amon Emon. did i say it right oh, i'm sorry i'm sorry um oh tgvg says tudor small rose linen dial for for a thousand probably yeah probably that's a great suggestion Oh, we got another one thousand uh, uh, dollar collection here. We got Hamilton Khaki King, yes. SK zero 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 seven, yes. Orient Bambino, oh, uh, uh, classic Casio G Shock Orient Ranger. Ah, oh, I think you can get that for a grand. I think so. So the Hamilton Khaki, what's that? Four hundred. SKX 200, so that's seven, uh, six. I can't even add. Bambino 150, so 750. Uh, G Shock 50. Yeah, you, 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 with the Orient Ranger, you know, you're getting there. You're getting there. That's a really beautiful collection. I love that. Absolute pure class. That's from Jonathan. A really nice suggestion. Um, I've got my Casio, I've got my G-Shock with me, my trusty G-Shock. I've also got my little, uh, the 1945, because this arrived today, so I'm going to wear this later on. So, yeah, really, 
Um, and I've got my Britix as well. So today I'm wearing the Zin 104. I'm, I'm going to wear the Saab uh, 33 tomorrow for for sake of Saturday. And later today, I'm, I'm wearing fly tea. <laughs> so, yeah, being a complete watch slut today. So why not, right? Why not? Um, but I wanted to talk about these uh, some of these watches today. Uh, Expedition, Expeditionary Ranger says, ball watches, question mark, like the hydrocarbon. I love it too. Don't hear much about those super strong question mark. Yes, absolutely. Love ball. I've reviewed three of them. I'm pretty sure I've reviewed three. Definitely two, possibly three. Uh, I love the skin, uh, what was it, skin diver. Very unfortunate name for a, for a ball watch, the ball skin diver, a little bit, you know. Um, some people might like that, you know, <laughs> who knows? Uh, but I think it's a bit of an unfortunate, they should have thought about that. Um, yeah, because the, you, should, you should have seen the comments for that. Um, anyway. Was that intentional, Christopher? The the the, the Masonic, uh, the the TGV ring uh, resembles Masonic. Actually, partly it was. I also kind of wanted to reference the V a little bit like. Sorry, can you see that? A little bit like the um, the British Army. You know the the the, the symbol you see on the um, the watches. But I just liked it because it was symmetrical. Um, and also an arrow, uh, you know, it kind of has that motion to it. Um, and this is the second one I designed, and 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 I'm actually working on a on a third. So my birthday coming up soon. So um, yeah, partly it, partly intentional. I mean, maybe influenced or inspired by. I guess would be the the, the, the best way to put it. Um, Trash ki kiwi kiwi says TGV for present sure why not um god that would be that would be um, crazy wouldn't it I, well i i can't run for president because i was born in the uk uh i could run for prime minister um which would which would be interesting <laughs> um i i couldn't stomach you know dealing with all those mps all that ugh, all the backstabbing and all ugh, i couldn't deal with that um you know, it would crush my soul, you know. Um, anyway, but it, it, interesting thought, interesting thought. Marco, uh, hello from Italy. Buongiorno, uh, I should say buonasera to uh, Marco there. Uh, TGV, uh, Amma says, what's love got to do, got to do with it? Um, bit of Tina Turner there. So thank you, my friend. <laughs> Michael, hello from Belgium. Love Belgium. Uh, love Brussels. Love Bruges. Beautiful, beautiful. If anyone goes to Belgium, you've got to go to Bruges. So hello, Michael. Really cool. Um, TGV, I want a lion alpinist. Yes, let's do that. Seiko will never in a million years do that. Well, never say never, but um, I guess we could mod an, an alpinist, but they're going to be so expensive. And also... I, 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 yeah, the sunburst style. Yeah, you can, of course, you could still print, print, uh, you could, we could put the, uh, the, the, the urban gentry line holding the hourglass on the, uh, where's my pen? Where is it? I got my parker here. Where did I put it? Sorry, I think it's under the, uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Sorry. Um, oh, dropped my iPad. That's not good. Um, Come on, why is that? That's being funny now. There we go. That's back. Yeah, um, I've got it on my um, on the Parker. Um, can buy these on the uh, Urban Gentry boutique. We've got an online boutique now, which I never mention. I need to mention it more often. I, it's uh, we, we're um, it's down for repairs, but it will be open next week. But yeah, we could yeah, we could we could do something like that perhaps. If Mass Drop can do it, TGV can do it. Interesting. I I did, I wasn't aware of that. Um Jack says, are they discontinuing the Alpinist? Yes, they are, unfortunately. Um when was it released? Uh, 2007. So, yeah, it's been 10 years. Like like I said earlier, sorry to repeat. 
if you look at the history, it was inevitable. And, and um, I'm not going to say I told you so because I didn't. I didn't. Um, but I had a feeling it would happen. Um, but, you know, I, I, it, it makes it more um, exclusive, you know. Uh, so that's good. Hey, TGV, any opinions on the Timex Easy Reader 40s anniversary? Mm, not familiar with that. I'm going to have to look into that. Let me uh, note that down. 40th anniversary. What is it? Timex. Right, the chat is going slower now, so I can actually keep up. It was going wild when Steve, hello, Steve. Um, <laughs> Steve says, uh, Japan has discontinued the Alphanist due to plans to remove all mountains from Japan, including uh, Fujisan. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, I wouldn't, yeah, wouldn't put them, put that past them. Um, Timex are great. Have some, yeah, they are great, says uh, Chris. Uh, will you ever review a Ulysses Nadan? I have reviewed a Ulysses Nadan. Uh, it was a very rudimentary. It was an early, early video. Um, I'll do, I'll cover them again. I'll cover them again. Um, beautiful watches. Beautiful watches. Some of them are a little bit gaudy and a bit, you know, a bit much. But but they're they're, they're um, the chronometer inspired. Um, they're not really dive watches. I guess you could say nautical inspired dive watches. That those are. Those are gorgeous. Um, uh, Aki Zuki says, hello from Germany. Hello, sir. Uh, guten Tag. Uh, no, guten Tag. Guten Tag. Um, what's, what's good evening in, in German? What's good evening in German? Uh, sorry, just there's something going on in the chat. I have to uh, check. Oh, uh, Three Finn says, Un grande abbraccio di, di Italia, grazie per aver, avermi fare entrare a questo mondo. Of course. So he's thanking, um, he's thanking me for, for uh, how should I translate that? Um, for, enter, for helping him enter the world of, of, of this, this world. Uh, with, you know, that is, when I hear that, it makes my day. It really does. Knowing that somewhere out there is somebody has watched my video, has got into watches, um, that makes me profoundly happy. And, and that's my true motivation. You know, that is why I'm doing this. Because if I, if, if I can get somebody, somebody out there to get even a tenth of the enjoyment I get from these, you know, from these things, um, that's worth it. Uh, th that's priceless. That's um, it's not much. It's uh, to, in, in the whole scheme of things, you know. I'm not curing cancer or anything. You know, I I I, I realize my channel is absolutely minute, and uh, but bringing joy to people that 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 really is. Good Abend. Yeah, sorry. Good Nacht. Good Good Nacht. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I did I did I did have it correct. Sorry. I did, I I really don't want to butcher languages. Oh, good, good, good Nacht is Yiddish. Oh, okay. Ah, interesting, interesting, cool. Ciao from Italy, Simone. Ciao, my friend. Um, so TGV Stoa Pro Diver or Squalimatic? Oh, that's a tough one. Well, you guys know I love Squale. Uh, the the Stova is. The Stover, sorry, it, it, it's better quality. I'm, you know, I've got to be honest. The Germans have only only by a mini, minuscule amount. Um, it's definitely a better better quality. Uh, but the Squale has the pizzazz, especially the Squalimatic with those applied so much more detail. That 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 bezel, oh, the inlaid bezel, the colors, the sunburst dial. Aesthetically, it just you know, destroys the Stover. I'm sorry, but you know, let's let's be honest. Um, however, the Stover is the better watch in terms of uh, its build quality, um, also its customization. And I've got to be honest, the the online boutique that Stover do are very professional, um, and and um, their their QC is better. 
you know um that's the truth that is the god honest truth um even my my love of squire i can't deny that stover have got those things absolutely spot on i'm not saying they're uh, infallible because any mechanical watch can have qec issues and nobody's immune nobody but uh stover definitely are that little bit better on the quality front but the squire has got the looks you know so that's where that you know um but what do you what do you expect you know you've got a swiss swiss uh diver with a, with a bit of that italian flair and a german german design german made um it, that, it's inevitable it's gonna go that way right um okay uh, will you ever review the seamaster aquaterra says uh, kimo yes i will i will it's not high on the list i'll be honest with you it's just because there's so, so many sea masters so many omegas in general um i'm gonna and the list is so long um i will eventually i will i will i i, th I think i should I i'll try and get one of the ones with um the uh there's i forget the 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 the, the anti-magnetic you know with the little the, the um striped second hand i think it is um I'll, I'll, yeah i'll add it to the actually i'll write that down aqua terra i'll look into it guys because you're right i i should do so thank you uh hello young hands telemeter chronoscope yeah you just that's from saints saints mccastle he's just put that gorgeous watch actually it inspired me a little bit to buy this because they're very similar aesthetic the little britix this is obviously a little bit smaller um the the young hands i so nearly bought it myself i i yeah, sorry my throat's dying now mm. i think we're approaching um two hours Oh, thereabouts god <laughs> um yeah we we've lost a lot of viewers we're down to 770 uh but that's still better than last time the last time i think we peaked at about 500 600 uh guys don't forget to like this video if you're watching now just give us a like uh and if you're watching this in the future don't forget to uh post your questions for the next live q a i'll go back that's what I should have done last time. And I'm going to try and do this every two weeks because I love interacting with you guys. It's getting a bit difficult answering everybody's emails because I have to make a choice. I either dedicate my time to making more reviews, more videos, or I answer all the emails. I can't do, you know, it has to be a balance. Um, so I think this is a great way of interacting with you guys. And, and this is the most important thing uh, is, is, is listening to you guys answering questions helping each other out guys you know help in the chat help in the comments uh if everybody does their bit we can spread this love for for watches which is ultimately the goal um that is my crusade you know i just want people to enjoy watches so um yeah yeah um okay sorry i'm um uh, but yeah that's where we're at. So, um, TGV, it's a watch faux pas to wear your watch on your dominant hand. Yeah, um, is that a question? I, I think that's a statement. It's a not. There's no faux pas. Okay, it's it's. Look, I what I wear watches on this hand, and this hand. Sometimes both. I know I'm I'm a bit crazy, but there's nothing. You gotta wear a watch on the hand you're happy and comfortable with. Um, I, t I tend to wear watches on this hand sometimes if it's a gold tone to match. Yeah, this sounds ridiculous, but to match the pinky, I have certain, like the Rattler Pant, I have certain, uh, I have a garnet, um, a garnet ring, beautiful red, and it's an 18 carat yellow gold, almost a rose gold, and it matches the Rattler Pant, the tone of the Rattler Pant so well. So I'll wear it on this side. Um, other times, some watches because you sh the wrist is so different, it just fits this hand better. You've got to go with what's comfortable for you. So, yeah, there's it's not really there's no you know it's a faux pas. 
we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that in the, in, in the video. Greetings from Tunisia. Very cool. And that's from uh, Swayan. 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 Um, TGV, ever heard of Indersoul? Ingersoll? Yes, of course. Of course. Uh, if you've watched my video on the Timex, the last Marlin video, I, I, I touched on them briefly uh, with the Mickey Mouse watches. Um, nowadays, I think they're owned by a, a, a larger Chinese conglomerate. It's not the same. Um, well, it's the same brand, but it's not. Yeah, they're not the same. Um, Aquaterra versus Explorer. That would be interesting. Very nice idea, Lewis. Thank you. Yeah, I would love to do that. Uh, can we? Can you? Can you put a deployant clasp on a NATO strap? Interesting. You can if it's one like this. It's not a NATO strap, but you see on this. Uh, okay, so I've got the. Um, let's, let's just get that. So this is the adapters for the KNJ adapters, right? So it's not a NATO. They're attached. You see that they're attached. There you go. It's a two two piece, right? In theory, in theory, if you if you took the uh, if you took this out and the, if you took that out, the uh, the tongue and the um, the buckle, and then cut it here, I, I guess you could put a spring bar. And I don't think anybody's tried it, but yeah, you know, maybe we could do it. Maybe we could do it. Uh, Jonas, greetings from Sweden. Love Sweden. Uh, I've. God, I, I want to go back to Stockholm and, and really. So I was a teen and, when I visited it, and I was a bit, I was too busy being a teenager. You know, I didn't really take in the um, the as much culture as I should have. Thoughts on the Fortis Cosmonauts as an everyday watch? Of course, of course. Day date, yes. Tough as nails, of course. That's um, Norman. Yes, go for it, Norman. I haven't got mine's mine's in my winder, which is somewhere else. But um, why Lange and Zoni are not part of the Holy Trinity? Well, they're they're not. They're German. Um, but the Holy Trinity, it's not a you know, it's not carved in stone. It's uh, it's just a thing, you know. But um, uh, from my understanding, they had to be Swiss. But they should be. They should be. I I, I think. Um, Lange are certainly up there and just as innovative, just and the quality. I was talking about this earlier, if you remember. I was, I was, I was personally, I think their quality is better than Patek. Um, because you know, they do that double assembly, they they assemble it once, take it all apart, reassemble it. Um, don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's a very loud fire trap. I don't think that's coming through. Can you guys hear this fire truck? Yeah, Lange is up there. I mean, incredible quality, incredible. It just, just you feel it. You know, you handle it. You feel it. Um, one day, let's see if we can. I want to do a tri trip to Germany. If I can do a, if you guys saw the Bouvet video tour of the of the that incredible castle, the workshop in the castle, guys. If you haven't seen that watch that video from last week um i'd love to visit lange so it's it's not impossible we could do it why not you know we've done jega we've done we've done uh, roman gautier we've done um a few others which i can't mention yet which is still to come um why not why not why not why not um Okay, uh, TG, what did you say say about Satina watches? They are so underrated. Yes, have a look at my top ten underrated brands. Incredible uh, achievements in 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 um, especially shock protection. That's why they have this the the turtle as their symbol because they were they developed. I forget the year, but have a look at that video. I I went into all the details. The nitty gritty. Uh, have I reviewed? The reissue of the Timex Marlin, yes, I have. That's Ivor. Yeah, have a look back. 
um, TGV, any micro brands you haven't tried but you've heard good things about? Yes, uh, Helios, I think it is. Um, MK2, I've heard great things. Um, I did ha a handle one actually, so yeah, they they, they felt nice. Um, there's a there's a um, there's an Israeli watchmaker. I forget his name. He's called um, Itoy. Damn it, I've forgotten his name. But he was. I I saw it at an event here in London. No, Freudian slip. Uh, slip here in New York. Um, he's from Israel. Did really incredible customization of um, timepiece. Actually, it's in my watchmaker annual magazine he was in there it it a it a something or rather I'm, damn it guys if you know leave a comment but yeah i i'm useless at names so um yeah there's quite a few micro brands uh but he he was high end he was high end you know um but uh yeah there's all kinds of um i think watch gauge is is the is the place to go because John, if you watch my interview with John, he was, he's a guy who comes from the high end of the industry and he's, you know, I'm not, I, I, I'm not going to mention too many names, but, um, cause I don't think he'd want me to, but he, he has made custom w watches for really high end clientele. I mean, really, I'm talking one of a kind, exclusive, extremely expensive uh hor horology pieces um so that's his background but what's interesting is he does he specializes in micro brands and that to me demonstrates a real passion because that's his passion so he he does all the hunting around and he'll only feature brands that are quality that are um look after their clientele that are uh, that bring something new interesting and he'll buy exclusive stock right so he'll get like the knacking I, I I bought of him was one of the last of its kind. You know, I know it's a bit annoying because I I I, I you guys, if you if you wanted that watch, it's a bit difficult to get now. But anyway, um, but I you see he he his special specialization is procure, procuring procuring. So it's I've forgotten how to speak. Sorry getting a hold of right uh you know limited amounts of of micro brands and so he's the guy to go to because and you've got to you've got to like keep up to date with what he has because every month they'll bring in the new brand okay some of it is not my cup of tea and some of it really is like the knacking uh which i haven't got here but uh it's in another room but that watch i fell in love you know um so anyway, sorry, I'm I'm get, getting off on a tangent. Sorry. Oh wait, 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 wait. We we got a one thousand dollar Japanese trio. This is from Sir uh, Ritter Rietus Rietus. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so SKX 007 J. So that's the Japanese version. SN eight four one one and GWM. GWM fifty six one zero BC. Let's look that up. So it's a diver, an aviator, and a beta. Let's look that up. Well, I love your first two. Let's see what your. Uh, sorry, I'm I'm just looking it up. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me, guys. If I take use it on, if I use this, uh, I will lose the chat. So um, fifty six. One zero B C. Okay, let's look that up. Do an image search first. Oh, it's a right. I thought it was a um, a Seiko uh, because I, he said Japanese, so I presumed it was a Seiko. Right. Okay, so it's a G Shock. It's got uh, tough solar. There you go. So this is the G W M fifty six one zero B C very very nice got a quite tactical look negative display um iconic part of the um part of that family 
So you've got two icons. The SNA, the flighty, I, it's not iconic yet. Um, yeah, it's definitely a gentry favorite, uh, but it's it, it hasn't got the lineage, um, the, the, the stardom that the SKX has. Uh, how are we for time? My God, we, we're it running into two hours. Um, so we'll wrap it up because uh, I'm, I'm dying to go to the restaurant. <laughs> Itai Noi, that was it. Thank you, Jason. Sorry, Jacob. And and if I recall correctly, Jacob is from Israel as well. So, um, or is in Israel. Uh, do let me know. Yes, uh, I, I I had the pleasure of meeting the man himself and um, doing incredible dial work, hand engraving, very impressive stuff. Um, and I love that because you're getting more of a bespoke experience. Um, and you, you know, real handmade artistry, real craftsmanship there. Uh, so it's just him. Just, that's the brand. That's him. Um, best beat a diver, Seiko Duro. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Schwarzkopf, two forty-one. <laughs> uh, this is lavishly fat. A very interesting name. Um, says he's Schwarz coughing 244 millimeter panorized tgv thank nice very nice um so yeah, yeah uh, one you could have two two time zones uh ninad says seiko juro yeah it's the cassia juro yeah blah 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 sorry that's a that's a conversation from the review a poker pokemon watch please yes okay okay um okay as you said please i i will look into it let me write that down. Pokemon Watch. <laughs> uh, God, talking of Pokemon Watches, there's some hideous, hideous redials of Tudors that are just, you know, butchered together with uh, Pokemon characters. Avoid, guys, avoid. Uh, oh, Had says, TGV, you are the best. Thank you, sir. Very flattered. Thank you, sir. Um, uh, greetings from Poland. Loves you. Love your videos. Thank you, Jake. Jacob. Thank you. Um, let's just scroll down. What's your exit watch? Great question. That's from uh, Kimo. Sorry, that sound is the leather couch. I'm not. I'm not passing wind. I assure you, <laughs> it's this. It's the rubbing of the leather couch. Um, exit watch. Ooh. God, I don't even want to think about that. Facciamo la corna. Lange, as we mentioned, Lange, Lange, Langmatic, yeah, 38mm, 38 uh, perpetual calendar, beautiful layout, that big date. Um, yeah, in, in, in rose gold with a white dial i think i'll go white dial yeah so very dressy you know if you if you're about to peg it if you're on your last legs might as well go out with a bit of style right um and i'd have to sell everything to buy it but uh it's 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 attainable um i'd be absolutely penniless but uh you can't take your money to the next world so um uh zach says your channel really helps me i'm so glad uh zach that's that's what i'm trying to do so uh thank you pierre says uh tgv do, do you know lip yes yes i do i do famous in france france sorry uh super value for money mechanical and quartz under a thousand i will i'm not noting that down lip let's get uh, a lip in and inevitably, I will call it lippy. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Um, Spirit says, hello from Switzerland. What do you think of the Seiko SP, SP, SRP341? Let's, let's have a look. Sorry, I've got to do... Oh, this is so annoying. I have to do the password every ruddy time I uh, look at that. So uh, where was it? Let's just scroll up a bit. There's an SRP. SRP. Three, four, one. 
it's there. Oh, let's have a look. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, wow, it's $130. Interesting. It's got this kind of strange, like, um, tuxedo, sty tuxedo style dial. Very interesting. I've never seen that before. So it's a Seiko 5. And it must be a new Seiko 5 because it has the crown at the 3 o'clock. Um, the original Seiko 5s from, this, from the early days, one of the five commandments and rules were that they had to be tucked away at four. But, um, you know, they, they, they've de departed from that rule. Uh, it's a really interesting dial. Oh, it's got a slightly um, recessed it, it, kind of outer ring. Very interesting. Pop a red with that seconds. Very interesting. Quite, yeah. Certainly something different. Interesting. I will have to look into that. Um, Nomus Tangente versus Explorer. I'd go Explorer all the way. Uh, I love Nomus, but they're just a little bit too fragile. I, I know a few people have owned them and, um, you know, that they, they, they're a little bit fragile, but, you know, they're dress watches. Um, I like Nomos, but Explorer feel, feels and fits much better. Yeah, I agree. That's that's Sebas, Sebas T. Um, actually, who who wrote who wrote that original question? Uh, go for the oh, sorry. This is a this is a conversation going on in the comments. No, that's great, guys. Keep up the. Um, please review microbrand Hemel. I have reviewed Hemel. That's from Ronnie H. I will review them again. Because they've got a beautiful chronograph. I, actually, I want to interview. Uh, I want to interview the main man himself uh, because his insight into design, I think, will be really, um, really interesting. Sorry, I was just reading a question. Deepak TGV, will you ever do a video about wearing chains and necklaces? I have mentioned it in various EDC videos. I, I I'll, I probably won't do. A video just about it because it's a little bit too niche also my speciality is not jewelry I mean well not that it's watches <laughs> either I'm just an enthusiast guys I'm just an enthusiast um, I did the special on my my rings because it that's a bit of a passion of mine I've also designed a few myself I've designed uh, about th uh, three or four rings myself um, yeah, I'll, I'll, you know what, I'll do a, a new EDC video soon and I'll cover my, because um, I do wear, I, I, I change my pendant um, depending on what mood, a little bit like I change my watches, but not, not so frequently. Um, do you think Basil 2018 will see a replacement for the Saabs? Possibly, possibly. Uh, greetings from Lithuania, wow, very cool. That's from uh, Paulus. Very cool. Um, yeah, I yeah. Why not? I mean, it would be a fitting time, just as one ends, and another begins. So yeah, definitely. Why not? Uh, TGV, do you think the white white, exp uh, white dial explorer will come to Basel? Well, funny enough, we ex we discussed that in the last uh, live Q and A. So have a look back. Um, yes, yeah, so I have a look back. We we discussed Rolex predictions in the last show uh which was really fun i i i really loved it um thoughts on um fp jean philip defoe uh, yeah we, we will cover so we we've been a little bit um hor horology heavy recently with the bouvet and the roman Gautier, but uh, i will always cover everything everything because i just love it all and i think everyone should you know, um, be exposed to as many different levels because that's the way to learn. You know, it's like it's like food, it's like culture, it's like books. Uh, talking of books, book check. I'm reading uh, George Orwell's 1984, about halfway through. Um, yeah, it's <laughs> really enjoying this. Uh, I, I'm going to watch the movie when I finish this.
what are you guys reading actually what what are you guys reading? thoughts on smith's uh, everest yeah i love them especially their vintage i really like them it's it's i don't think it's the same company anymore you, they they do have a, a specialist in england that sells them online uh, but it's not the same company uh, from what i understand i could be wrong if i'm wrong please do correct me in the comments um but yeah the vintage pieces are, are cracking deals if you can find an original one yeah why not uh what are you guys reading what are you guys a book book check <laughs> book check uh yeah absolute classic um i haven't read this since since school and it's funny rereading it um yeah it's really interesting anyway uh yeah what do you read 1984 in the 80s it was so different to read in the day yeah it's very true Wow, uh, Thanos is, is is reading Voltaire. Very, very cool. We've got some intellectuals among the gentry. Well, of course we have. Uh, wow, uh, Rhino Bags reading Anna Karenina. Classic. Never read it myself. Um, uh, uh, Sabrican is reading Origin by Dan Brown. Very cool. 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. Yes. I actually did a video about that book long, long. I don't even know if it's still public, but um, very useful book. Uh, Feel Free by Zadie Smith. Yes, uh, Jacob. Um, she's uh, British, isn't she? Uh, she? Did she write Teeth? Was it Teeth that she wrote? Because um, I think my wife really loves that book. I haven't read Catch-22. Joseph Heller. Yes, classic. That classic, absolute classic. Um, Captain Cook biography, very interesting, Jacob. I would love to love to uh, know about that. Who who uh, do you recommend it? Um, uh, currently le reading uh, uh, the history of Japan. Uh, Ten affordable dive watches. Ah, I would love to know about that. Ever reviewed uh, Zenith, Francois? Yes, I have. Have a look back. Um, Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. Not familiar with that. Um, I have to look that up. Sounds interesting. Um, D-Day by Stephen Ambrose. Yes, yes. I've read that. I have that. Animal Farm by Orwell. Is, yes, that's one of my favorites as well. Very good book. I totally agree um fire and fury uh, 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 alan poe collection very nice yes um classic jules verne history of the roman empire yeah is that uh, is that uh, rubicon or or because I, I recently uh finished that one um a brief history of time by stephen hawking very cool i'm gonna write that one down history of time Time. my god everybody is so well read i'm i'm so pleased that really fills me with a bit more <laughs> faith uh, in the world um sorry stephen hawking let me go i think that would be very relevant to the channel i'm a little bit intimidated considering he's, he's so cle clever and my brain is not academic whatsoever it take i'm very slow reader and also i i, I have a problem with uh, reading and writing. Um, Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Absolutely, that's um, Anos there. I think. I think. Well, Janos. <coughs> excuse me. White teeth. That was it. Thank you, Jacob. Yes, Zadie Smith. I knew. I knew it had teeth in it. So, uh, Decline and Fall by Elliot e e Evelyn War. Interesting. I'm reading Washington: A Life. Very cool. A Modern Utopia. H.G. Wells. Peter Klein's Paradox Bound, Stephen Hawking, Roadwork, Space Odyssey, Fifty Shades of Grey, Don Quixote, yes, nice. Fighting Skills of the SAS, very nice. Um, Penthouse <laughs> says The Count, Discount, interesting. Um, why not? Reading Great Gatsby, classic. Um, you have to read Animal Farm by, I have Animal Farm, yeah, absolutely, it's my favourite. Probably my favorite. Um, I, I I prefer it to to the, this. I mean, they're very different, but 
I have a kind of, you know, I read Animal Farm as a child, right? Not understanding the politic, political significance. And then when you re, when I reread it at high school, then you, you, it's, it, it appeals to so many people on so many levels. That's, I think that's the magic of Animal Farm. It's not, this is, this is a little bit more sophisticated, obviously. Um, uh, Hero of an Empire, Churchill book. Yes, yes. Have, um, check out um, Martin, sorry, just looking at my bookshelf. Martin Gilbert's uh, book on, um, that's a great one as well. Um, Stephen, Stephen Jobs' biography, yeah. Yeah. Space Odyssey by Clark. Very cool. Um, to Kill a Mockingbird, classic. In brackets, school. That's Ryan. Very nicely done, sir. Very nicely done. The Ring, Rings of Saturn by uh, W.G. W. Sibold. I'm not familiar with that. The, the complete works of H.P. Lovecraft. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, the Divine Comedy by Dante. Of course. Of course. I have, I have a copy. Where is it? I think it's just over there. Um, uh, I have to admit, and this is shocking because I used to live in Florence, I only read it for the first time, I think, last year. So, yeah, I felt I, uh, a bit of, I felt a bit guilty. Um, yeah, the, the, we've, we're down 600 viewers. What can I expect? We're talking about books now. Uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Yes, I love that. I love the movie too. Big, big Jack Nicholson fan. Never read the book. I will. Odyssey by uh, James Joyce. Classic. Absolutely, sir. Um, Stop the Book Club. This is a watch channel. Well, actually, I started reviewing books. If you're a real urban gentry, um, if you're with me for since the beginning, I used to talk about cinema, clothes, literature, art. Um, and that was why it was called the urban gentry, not because, you know, you should be a world should be a well-rounded individual and well that that's what i was raised to believe um so books are very important and i think it's it's a must um and i will i will throw in videos every so often you know like the recent chess one and i'll do sartorial stuff from time to time in keeping in that old the old school gentry right uh, the old school urban gentry but um Heart of Darkness, one of my favorites. Absolutely. Who's that? DLC 88. Yes. Uh, Conrad, yeah. M the Count of Monte Cristo, another favorite. Yes. God, you guys, you guys are some well read. Oh, that makes me so happy. The, the Prince uh, Nic Niccolo Machiavelli, absolutely a classic. I did read that when, when I went to Florence. Um, so. Um, it's a gentleman's clan channel absolutely absolutely um who said that that was uh, leo thank you leo um but yeah let's draw it to a close with that we've done <laughs> we've done two hours two hours and a half um oh yes uh jean pierre he says history of clock uh, uh, watches and clocks great book i can't reach it right now but it's in my um i do recommend it uh, absolutely um so yeah I, I think we're gonna leave it there um thank you very much for the super chat by the way uh jean-pierre um that was your name wasn't it did i get it right jean-pierre yeah jean-pierre sorry um yeah okay guys i i think we're gonna um dear tgv do do a book of uh, a list of book recommendations i will do i will do i'll do that book recommendations book list let me write that. I've got like twenty ideas for <laughs> twenty ideas for videos. Um, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, thank you so much for all your questions. Uh, this has been really, really fun. I'll do another one of these videos, a live show in a fortnight. Uh, if you're watching this non non live, add your questions for the next video in the comments. Uh, also, feel free to book recommendations. Your also your uh, your one thousand dollar watch collection um, suggestions in the comments, please. Um, and if you 
we're live and you just want to share it again let's try and help out as many people as you can so please do share your comments i love your suggestions and lastly what do you think is next for the saab line um well there's definitely going to be a new alpinist there always is that's part of their history uh but is that the end of the saab 033 and the 35 is there going to be something new um predictions or at basel world you know predictions in the comments i'd love to hear that uh but uh, that's it there'll be a review on the weekend the one i was supposed to post today but as with this you know quite uh, relevant especially to the channel uh, big news of this this um the um these watches be being discontinued we had to discuss it um so yeah i'll i'll do another live show in two weeks um so thank you so much guys don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and found it useful. Um, it really helps out. And uh, I'll, catch you, uh, I'll catch you next time um, over the weekend. So have a fantastic weekend, everybody. I'm off to get some pistachios and, uh, and some, a bit of vino. It's vino time. Um, so please do take care uh, and enjoy your watches. Enjoy Seiko Saturday especially. And I'll catch you in the next one. Okay. Ciao, guys. Ciao.